So in a lot of the families were speaking of, yesterday about this and saying they're outraged by the decision. What do you want to say to them? Well, what I did say to them, because I met with them yesterday, and listen, it was a very tough and emotional um, decision. I mean, I, I'm a mother, uh, and I, I can't imagine what they are going through right now. And my heart goes out to them, uh, and uh, and that's why we want to help them in these in these ways that we have offered to help them. And uh, but again, we need to um, we need to respect the judicial process that this continues to go through. We don't want to jeopardize that in any way, and we need to ensure you know uh, that it's a safe way of doing it. If the federal government decides to move forward, why is this a federal jurisdiction though? I mean, it's a provincially regulated uh, landfill. Uh, no, it's issue. no, it, it's their decision. They haven't made a decision yet whether or not they are choosing to move forward with, uh, with the search, and uh, you know that's up to them. If Should the it federal... not be a provincial responsibility? No, no, yeah. it's their. It, uh, you know, it's th they make the decision, and uh, you know whether or not it's, I, I don't control with it what they do, um, but again, those are those are decisions that that they will make, and uh, you know best asked of, of them. But I, I, I do just want to say as well, I mean, you know, my heart goes out to the families. This is a very, very difficult time for them. And, uh, you know, what we want to do and what we had indicated to those families that we met with yesterday and last week is that we want to help them through this healing process. And so we have offered some funding for that. We've offered uh, more funding for MMIWG2S um, individuals as well uh, who are at risk in these in these situations and then we've also offered um, if there is a memorial if they want to go down that path that we would be help we would be willing to help out in those areas so while the acknowledged body sitting in the landfill that we're not going to take no for for an answer we had a meeting with Heather Stephenson yesterday where different politicians as well as the premier sat down with my family as well as Mercedes Myron's family and they looked us straight in the face and they told us that they will not commit to the search yeah. and they she raised the two risks associated with the landfill and searches but that's why the feasibility study was done all 52 pages um, it talks about how to combat that in ways so that those workers can stay safe and she talks about the workers <laughs> she, she talks about the workers health and She's talking about them as if it's going to be city workers, ordinary city dump workers doing this search when it would not in fact be that. It would be people with legitimate experience and people who have been known to search landfills in the past. It would be that. And how long are you aiming to have this blockade? This blockade's just for today, but we never know what tomorrow brings and today is really just about getting the message out that you know, it, no is unacceptable and what happened in that room yesterday was absolutely despicable and there was no respect shown or sympathy shown for my family. She didn't even recognize who we were upon walking in that room and if she had been following this all along like she claims to have, then she would know who we are and we've done everything that the provincial government has asked us to, we've done everything that the federal government has asked us to, we did the feasibility study, we completed it and she basically said that she's comfortable with putting a memorialization on top of remains that are known to be there and more resources for MMIWG2S, but where were those resources when my mother was alive? Your systems failed my mother and now you're telling me that you will not search for her and you are comfortable with the landfill remaining a grave site. That's what I took from that meeting.